Hello everyone, welcome to Red Dragon Model Works. This is my second update on my entry into Russell Goslin's D-Day group build. Today I'll be working on just a little bit of Philly parts here and there. I'll try to get some stuff done, my grandson's sleeping, so I'm not feeling it, man, the weather's too cold. So it's been a kind of lousy week here, you know, with this crazy weather. So if you give me a second here, I'll get the camera all settled up, get it all ready. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll be right back. All right, guys. As you can see, this is what I'm doing now. So let me get my little glasses together here. Get my light here. So I'm doing this today. So. Yeah, this, this kit here is, is really driving me nuts. Yesterday I alluded to it. Well, my first um, thing I alluded to it being 1968. There it says 1970. So, I don't know. Either way it goes, it's still, it's still an old kit, guys. All right, here we go. Let's get some of these parts together here. Yeah, there's a few of them. any of this goes on here this is what no all right here we go so here we're going to need b49 and b51 It's these two pieces right here. So and we're just trying to as I said, these things are pretty, pretty old, so I need to get in here and do a little cleaning when I do my knife. There we go. So let's get in here and clean it out a little bit. And there's just a little bit of a rough edge on here. I'm going to smooth those down a little bit. A little sanding sponge. Okay guys, now these are the air cleaners and as I said the other day there's not a lot of parts to it, there's a lot of little parts. So just want to make sure that they all fit before I slap some glue down. Um, they're going to need, yeah, some putty. So, I'll bust out the thick glue. So I want that to squeeze out a little bit, hopefully. With the squeezing of it. I'll bring it down some. Just don't want to get too messy with it. And let the 
it sit for a second before I squeeze. There we go. Um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how that works, but so far so good. Smooth down a little bit. There's that one. And then we got two of them. So let's get to the other one. Try to make sure that I do a little cleanup on these before I do anything else. I mean, don't look too bad. I'll have to sand all that down once I put that on there. I don't monkey with it just about yet. So let's get a little bit more of this. Maybe I can get that done ooze out a little bit and help with the fill that in in the center there. Alright. And there we go. There's your little air cleaners. I'll let these sit a bit. All right, now we're going to go to this here, B10. B45. There should be another one of those. And B forty seven. There's your exhaust pipes. Make two sets. So there's one of these missing. One of those is missing. It's right there. Hello, Rockhead. All right. So this and this one, apparently, the slides. Like right in here. Like so. And then that sits right on top. I'm not 
not talking much, guys. I'm just sitting there trying to get this glued in. Um, all right, let me get these done. I'll be right back. All right. I'm just sitting here cleaning these up. And I noticed... And I'll show you guys in a second. Just let me. I don't think you'll you'll be able to see it, but it's more of an annoyance than anything else. And I guess it's just uh, the times that we live in. I guess when you start, when you get a little older, you start paying attention to these things. I don't know. But when you start taking the, this hobby a little serious, and I'll show you guys what I mean in a moment. Just let me clean this off. Then you got a piece of the exhaust. And as you can see, right there. Once you put this part over the top, that sits like right on top of here. Like so. Like that. In there. Now I'm not. I don't know if I want to drill those out. It'd be pretty hard to glue this on there. Then I think I'll just leave it alone. You know. I was going to drill those out, but I'm going to leave it alone. Was the age of the kid, you know, all that other stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let me get these all together, and I'll think about it. But it's not going to be hard, though. I'll scratch build something there if I have to. It's just this part here that I don't want to ruin. This is, yeah. You can put a pipe in there. I think I got some tubing about that size. Somewhere, yeah. Um, I can cut this out. It's just this little cap fitting on top of there. Like right in here. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's the exact same size. Do I got another piece like that? Um, uh, let's see. Wouldn't you know it? Nope. Yep, it's the only one I got that size. And that's perfect, too. Have been perfect, but I can still make this. I can find another link like this. I think that's what I'm gonna do. You know, there'll be a little, I just don't like. Yeah, because, okay, look, these are going to sit right here, right here, like so, and there's two of them. Um, I can use this. But that'll be might be too high. Oh, I'll leave them alone. It's good for now. Like I said, I can always cut this off. 
this piece right here and then get another piece of this and put it right on there all right let that sit and dry a little bit and i'll work on this one now Flush. Mm. Didn't look too bad. sand down a little bit get that big edge off of it right there and then right across here on the bottom things are already crooked even before I started sanding on it I don't know I'm thinking of, of using that pipe put those on there. I'll be right back. Let me see if I can find another piece of this. Because I think I don't like this. It's already oblong. See it? And I think if I take this out and then add a piece like this in here. So I'm not going to add these. This is going to have to wait. Be right back. I got uh, Went ahead and figured I'd leave those in there. So this is just dry fitted in for now. I added you know, the cleaners here and then the pipes. I was going to do this in brass, but once these, oh, wrong way, sorry about that. Once these are on there, you can't really see those. So, but I'm not gonna add these on yet as, you know, I, I, if you notice, I sanded them because I want to distress them a little bit before I add some paint to that. I'm not gonna add these on just yet. What I want to do is paint these off to the side. Same color, but there's a reason why I'm doing that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this once I get all this on here. And then go in and hand paint, and like in here, you know. But go in and hand paint, I had to use a little putting as you can see um, this will need to be hand painted this will need to be hand painted and a few little odds and ends here but she's just sitting in there for the moment these I'm gonna hold off until later so and then there's a, a couple of little if you excuse me if you look here 
that little those little turn buckles they go in right here but I'm not going to add those until I put this in um, I had I had to putty those they've been sanded down smooth whoop and as, like I said you see it's just sitting in there so I'm gonna let this dry for now so until our next update so I dragon saying peace brothers